All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Prop Stream video uh, where I just show you guys uh, a feature of Prop Stream that I feel is useful. And this is completely subjective. It is something I feel is a really neat feature on this program, and that has to do with the analytics. And you are just staring at the United States zoomed out, obviously. And you can see up in the top right, we do have this analytics option. Some people might not be aware of this or have never messed with it, uh, but when you click on here, uh, you have four options. Estimated values, MLS stats, price growth, and rental values. So I currently am checked on the estimated values, and if I click on estimated value, you'll see the exact same map that we just saw. Basically what's happening here is when you select one of these analytics, uh, you're being given an overlay over top of the map, and I like to call this a heat map, essentially, which is showing it. you have a, your key right here or your legend that you use to reference the colors. And based on those colors, it's giving you specific data. And I call it a heat map because of the colors. So what's really neat about this is, is you can see less than 100K, 100,000 is the lighter color of blue. Red means million dollar and plus properties. So just quickly looking at this map, you just quickly tell, okay, properties around the coastlines are high end properties. Let's look at something else here. Boston, San Francisco. We know those are two of the most expensive living areas in the United States. Then you can look all around the edges of Florida where everything is coastal. Same thing along California there. And you can just see that you know, those are really high-end waterfront type properties. Uh, but that's just a, a broad top view of this. And what I wanted to just show you is some of the uh, different choices under these that I feel are worth paying attention to. So let, let's start with this estimated values. And the one out of these that I prefer the most is just that simple estimated value. So on estimated value, so let's just, we're gonna use Florida for most of our examples here when I'm showing this to you. And one thing to take note of is this is pulling a lot of information, a lot of data. So sometimes when you click on one of these up here, you're gonna need to just give PropStream a second to collect itself. It's gonna depend on your internet connection and how well their servers are doing at that moment. So you'll notice sometimes when we're zooming in, it might take a second, but once you get in there, it's pretty awesome and you can zoom in uh, quite a distance. So uh, I'm just gonna zoom in here. We'll go right into this uh, town of Bradenton right here. And you can tell just looking at this map and I'll show you how close we can get, but just from this high level view, if we know nothing about this area, we can quickly see where the lower cost homes are versus the more expensive homes. And again, this is why I like this analytics feature so much. It's such a quick and easy way to zoom into any area in the United States and get an idea in a specific city what areas are hotter than others, what areas are more expensive than others. And I'm gonna keep going through and show you guys this. So you can see here that we have our coastal areas where there's pretty high value dollar properties. Same thing all along the water's edges here. Uh, you can see this section over here has a lot of higher end properties along with spots that are sprinkled in here and there. Something else I'm gonna show you, as we zoom in, you can almost get to a precise parcel to see the color and how that goes. So you can see these reds and if you look closely, you're gonna see the blues, you see the reds right here on the water with their big uh, lot lines and then you have some of the lower cost homes here as you come inland a little bit. So just really awesome data. But let's uh, move over here to uh, the next one, the MLS stats. And let me show you what that is. So if we click on MLS stats, uh, when you click on one of these, nothing's typically popping up, and that's because nothing's selected. It's just the generic MLS info. But all of these will bring up uh, different colors. So I actually like all four, these first four, square feet, lot size, bedrooms, listing price. So you can click on square feet, and you can see what the legend's showing us. So it's showing us the square footage of 500 all the way up to 3,000. So we can tell based on this information uh, 
that a lot of our smaller places are right in this section of Bradenton. And just knowing this area, I can tell you right off the bat that these are mobile homes or manufactured homes. This is a mobile home park. There's a lot of them right here. So a lot of those are very small. So I know that's very accurate. Uh, same thing if we remember what we were talking about with the coastal properties and how expensive those are you know typically those are larger homes and you can see that you know these are homes that are gonna be 3,000 plus square feet and another thing if you if you want to question this or you're curious about a specific property you can click on most properties so if, if we zoom into this property right here basically this one should show us that it's over 3,000 square feet or close to it and there we are 2,900 square feet if we click on this one here, it should be more like in the thousands somewhere. Let's see if this one pops up. We'll just give it a second. Here we go, 1,200 square feet. And, and that was a blue dot. So when we look on here, we can assume that 1,500 square feet's right there in the greens. And as we start to get a little bit under 1,500, we're gonna enter the blues. So I like this. Let me show you something else on MLS, lot size. Lot size is neat to be. It's a good way to figure out parts of a town that might have larger lots than others, which some people find those desirable. So you can see here, this goes up to 50,000 square feet. We know an acre is around 44,000 square feet. So if we're looking for properties that are on that, let's say half acre plus, we know we need to be looking at pretty much that bright green to that red and all those colors are going to be larger lots so if we scroll out here we can see this section of town right here by university parkway is full of larger lots so all of these desoto acres the assumption is these are this is all acreage which our analytics seems to be spot on about that and i know just being in uh, florida here i know on i-75 uh, we have a lot more larger parcels of property on the east side of the interstate there. And you can see as you get out there, you start getting into more rural areas. So next thing, MLS, bedrooms. So this is, it's not crazy good information, the bedrooms. It's still interesting to me. You can zoom in and you can see here, okay, this neighborhood right here tends to have some larger homes. If we want to scroll back out and Maybe check out that DeSoto Acres place again where there was acreage property. You can see it's a little bit of a mix. So when you're looking at your legend, you got properties. Typically, when you're around that three to four bedroom, you're in the green. What else do we have here? Listing price. So listing price with MLS stats. Something I really like about this. So if we zoom out, and you can see there's not a whole lot of, well, there's a lot of dots. Uh, but when you zoom in, there's not as many. And the reason being, listing price is actually showing us these are active MLS properties. So we can tell, like if we zoom in here and we want to just look at this neighborhood right here, look, it's showing us that there's actually two pieces of property that are listed. Here's another one right here. Click on that estimated value we want to go into the details real quick here and then uh, go to MLS details uh, you can see this one's actually showing us pending so it's showing us the actives and pendings uh, and it's got us that list price right there so awesome information I, I just love it I love this feature the analytics there's a lot you can do here it depends on what you're looking for but if you're trying to learn a town get some basic quick information without having to do too much research, PropStream can give you a lot of answers very quickly. Now price growth. I really like price growth. Wait till you guys check, see this. So I'm gonna zoom out here. Let's show you this part of town. So we have one month, six month, one year, three year, five years. Personally, I like six months to five years. One month growth is something that it's somewhat harder to track. Six months is something great to just see based on an area, what are some hot spots. The thing is, is I'm recording this in 2020, in April. And if we look back over the past 10 years, we have done nothing but increase in prices. So a lot of places you're gonna see this growth, but if we wanna go on a large scale, check out the united states 
we are looking at the entire United States right here, and we're looking at six month growth. So let me zoom in here just to let it load. Sometimes you gotta just zoom in a little bit and all of a sudden it'll start doing that. So let's bring up our legend or our key again for six month growth. So we're looking at properties here, 50% loss, 50% growth. So let's focus on an area that actually had loss and zoom in and see what that looks like. I mean, we wanna make sure we're not looking at water here, but you can see there are a few areas where it shows some blue dots and they look like they're smaller towns. Yet as we get closer to El Dorado here, you can see they have just had amazing growth. And a lot of that growth is stemmed out from the main town, which is which is really popular in a lot of areas. You know, you typically find when you're in a great market like we have been in, your main cities, your main towns will usually have a lot of growth. And then what starts to happen is a lot of that gets pushed out. This is a great way if you're entering a new, t new part of the United States, you you've thought about, you know, maybe I should rehab some homes here. Maybe I should wholesale some homes here. It's great to be able to just look at a map like this and say, well, heck, the past in the past six months, Mayo, Florida, which I have never heard, Mayo, Florida, is booming right now. All they've had is growth after growth. So let's change this. Let's check this out for the past year. So even in the past year, they've experienced a lot of growth. And another nice little feature is, so let's zoom into Gainesville here, for instance. So we're looking at Gainesville at a one year. Now let's check it out at three years. Three years, we've had over 100% growth. Five years had over 100% growth. So if I'm looking at an area and I wanna pay attention to that and just kinda of check out what that growth has been, I'll actually, I'll start at five, I'll go down to three, and I kinda, of, I, I pay attention to these hot spots. So like right here, by Arredondo, so this section right here, let's just pay attention to that. Pay, remember this. So we're on three year growth now. Let's check out one year. Look at this little hot section right there in Arredondo. Now let's go down to six months. Still that section, two sections here, but this section has year over year outperformed a lot of the other surrounding areas. And you can do that with so many different parts. So if you're not feeling too comfortable Take your price growth and do what I just did. Start high and work yourself down low and just keep paying attention to what remains a hot area. That might be an area that you wanna pay a little bit more attention to. All right, so let me show you guys the last one, which is rental values. There's only a couple on here. There's only two uh, out of the three that I like, which is rent price and rent price per square foot. Um, and the reason I like both of those is if we click on rent price, it's showing you 500 to 5,000. 5, uh, I mean, that's a pretty large range, but hey, it's gotta be, it's realistic. So let's zoom into St. Petersburg where there's a whole lot of different neighborhoods. You know, every street in St. Petersburg is a little bit different. So you can tell here, a little bit inland in St. Petersburg, you have more affordable rents where it's probably closer to that, you know, 1,500. What you got to remember is when you're looking at this, always just go in half. So we know about 2000 to 2500 a month is by this green. So anything under green, blue to green, is going to be that more affordable uh, rent. Probably a lot more of the investment type rentals a lot of people are looking for. Uh, not this higher end stuff. As you can see, you know, 5000 rent for these waterfront type properties. But if you were thinking, you know, you're looking at price growth, now you want to look at rent prices. Just this tool alone, without doing any other searching besides scrolling in and out and checking your analytics boxes, you can learn a region or a section, a city, a town, whatever it is. Um, so I really like rent price, uh, and then I like rent price a square foot. Uh, I mean, rent price a bedroom doesn't really do anything for me. I don't really need to know that. Uh, but the rent price a square foot, so pay attention to these areas here. What we should see is when we're in hot areas like waterfront areas or cities usually you're getting a smaller place and you're having to pay more rent because of how desirable it is so if we change this 
we should see some of those beach areas and this section here should also remain around that. Okay, so over here, the St. Pete Beach, you can see you're actually getting to be uh, where you're spending more money for less square footage, which is beach, waterfront areas. And then you're obviously getting a better deal more inland where we were already showing those lower rent prices. So this is how I use the analytics. Uh, since I've been using PropStream, I have not seen much change to this, but I haven't need, I mean, if anything, hopefully they will add some features where you can add even more filters into this. But for right now, I can spend all of my time on price growth and estimated values and looking at areas. And I'll do this before I go to a town just to visit for a normal vacation because I want to know as I'm driving around what are some of the hot areas? What are some places I should pay attention to? Or if somebody sends me a property, maybe I have a wholesaler that sends me properties in my local market and occasionally they get something out of market. And I know this is a wholesaler I work with that gets great deals. I can quickly check that area out with these features here and, and see how good of a market it is if it's one that I really wanna pay attention to. So I hope you guys got some good information out of that. I hope you can find some ways that you can use some of this data because I think it is awesome. I think it is a great tool and it's awesome that they combine all of this into that same tool that we're using to vet properties, to find cash buyers, to create lists. So if you guys aren't already using PropStream, I highly recommend it whether you're a realtor or not. Check it out. If you guys have any questions, hit me up, shoot me a message, check out my links below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.